Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make beat videos for YouTube, how to use FL Studio to create beat visualizers in a new updated FL Studio Z Game Editor visualizer. It's super, super easy, super, super straightforward. So stick through to the end of the video and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to create your videos. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music, online business and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, guaranteed. Now let's get started straight into this you know i don't like to waste your time so z game editor <laughs> or visualizer what have you okay that's what we're going to be using today let's actually full screen this up now in order to use this first of all you want to get a beat in here so let's just get a beat in here real quick and i'll show you exactly how to use this and how this is done is very very easy very very straightforward okay so let's pick ah, let's just pick 2017 why not and let's set this up first of all you drag your beat in you set it to the right tempo i suggest and i'd set the loop points for the beginning and the end of the beat let's press play to make sure everything's working everything seems to be working perfectly fine and then on your mixer on the master channel you want to add z game editor visualizer in order to do that you just click down here and go to z game editor visualizer it begins with a z so it'll probably be the last plugin that you have available okay and when you have that you want to click or, or you won't have to click on it because you'll have brought it up and this will just come up automatically but i'm going to click this so that it brings actually Let's just get rid of that. Let's delete this completely and let's create a new one. Okay. Now this has opened up on my other screen because I do use two screens, but I'm just bringing it over here for you. Now this is what it will start out looking like. Okay. Nothing, nothing there looks like you might have to actually do some video editing, right? <laughs> now I have a lot of experience in video editing, but this is super, super easy to use. You don't need any experience whatsoever. All you need to do is click on this wizard button right here. And what this will do is it will bring up a bunch of different presets that you can now use in order to create your video. So we can create a preset like this, which looks quite interesting to be honest, but this, we want something that fits our beat. So I'm gonna, First of all, click X on this. I'm going to play the beat back in the background and I'm going to turn it down a little bit so it's not coming over my voice so you can still hear me. And we'll enable it and we'll go to the wizard and we'll check out some things. This actually could work. I, was it, what's this? Kind of like a beach. I don't know if there was any beach vibes in 2017 for me personally, but someone could have gone to the beach. Oh, this looks cool. Yeah, that was very cool. So next thing you want to do is edit the song title. So we're going to write 2017 here. You want to edit the author. So I'd write produced by J Carter Ray. And here you can have a comment or have some information down there. I just get rid of that like that. <laughs> and here you can basically, you could, first of all, you pick your preset, then you can pick the background, which is what's going on right about now. This is the background, but generally I do not change the background because once you pick a preset, you might as well use the background that's in that preset. Now with everything else, you can move around and change that, or you can get your own background and upload that or find media online and by browsing and or finding media online and do all that sort of stuff, but it's not necessary. This is just keeping it super easy super simple okay now the next thing is the process here it basically adds a filter to the video that you're creating so we can go to none and as you can see no filter we can go to audio shake which means every time there's like a bass hit it will zoom in which is okay but honestly, I prefer the slow movement that was going on before. This looks pretty cool. And you've got 
different parameters around here that you can change we can actually change this to rgb shift which will also look pretty cool it kind of blurs things out a little bit and has like like rgb shift if you know what that does then you kind of know what's going on <laughs> but I, I can't really explain it to be honest and then here you'll have a few different elements that you can move around for example this song position circle i can change it from a circle to this thing peak shape arc down and there's a bunch of different things that you can choose basically you want to choose whatever you want and you can experiment with this and let's go to Nah, I don't really want the triangle. Now I've forgotten what we started with. It's audio plane. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Now, of course, we do need the music to be playing to actually have some sort of understanding of what this is going to do. So when the bass starts hitting, we'll see what this audio plane thing will do. Then you've got the text, which you can change down here. Okay, this audio plane seems to be doing nothing whatsoever. So let's change this to song position vertical, okay? And down here, you can change the handwriting to a variety of different things, but I like Superhero the most because it kind of looks like Bebas, which is my brand font. So we're gonna leave that like that. And then the audio source, this is basically what audio you want this visualizer to take in and you know do all this sort of effects with so we're just putting that on the master track right here and you can move around elements for example i can move around the title like that if you right click then it will move it right back to where it was but if you left click first of all you need to click down here this cog then you need to click this button in order to move it then if you left click it will keep it where it is now there are a few other things you can do you can rotate it but honestly i don't know how to use anything except for basically moving it see that this is a resize this button and generally i just move stuff around so this is rotation and right click puts it back to where it was remember so there we go. And I can also move the author down below. And you should be able to move this, but that's not an option right now. So in order to move this, I'll just come over here and use this little pad. And I can just click on here and move that around to where I want it to be, okay? So that's how you move that. And that's basically the editor. Now we've got this done. And if I was like, you know what? I don't like this. Let's make another video. I can just move over to this one or move over to that one or move over to that. Like it's so easy. There's so many different combinations and different things that you can try. You can just go through this bunch of backgrounds until you can find something that you like and just keep on going if you don't find something that you like in these presets there may be something in here that's not even in one of the presets so that's very very great stuff and then when you're ready to actually export it you can click i don't click continue to render and save video i just click x over here and then you'll see your preview right here and i'll go to export video and here you can name the video so First of all, you can browse to the folder that you want to export this into. So I put this in my beat visualizers folder that I've created, and then you can name this. So we'd name this 2017 YouTube. You can click different types of videos, but honestly, if you're gonna do like a Instagram video and whatnot, you kind of want to pick an Instagram template to do this. Otherwise, it's just going to be, they're just going to squeeze it basically and it's going to look terrible. So you're better off just creating a YouTube version and then uploading that to Instagram as well, to be honest. Like I personally, I just screen record my YouTube videos once they're out with the iPhone screen recorder to upload my videos to, you, to um, Instagram. So that's pretty easy to do. 
and then at this point you can go into the export settings i export my videos in 1080p hd so i'd click 1920 by 1080 video bit rate 18 bit rates 80 mbps and then 30 frames per second audio codec doesn't really matter audio bit rate i have at 320 this is basically mp3 quality and then you click ok at this point you'll get the export window that you're probably familiar with i generally click off on the wav and then click start but the thing is it's going to export like your video with a wav as well which is really weird i don't know why it does that you can't just export the video by itself it will also export a wav version of this beat so that's how that works then you click start and you weigh it out some of these presets and backgrounds take way longer than others this one should be probably pretty simple and shouldn't take that long but there are some that may take like half an hour may take even an hour it may take a very long time so keep that in mind and you can also play around with different aspects of the video over here but honestly it's not really that deep you don't really need to begin that deep into beat visualizer videos i think spending more time on it than this right here and just going through a preset and changing things about is probably not worth your time your time's probably better spent making more beats because i don't think people really really care about what your beat visualizer looks like as long as it's interesting enough and all of these presets are interesting enough and this is a great way to make a video for youtube really really quickly really really easily and then you can just smack it up upload it and promote your beats using youtube so that's that very very easy very very straightforward you drag in your beat you load z game editor visualizer on the master track jay from the future here real quick just wanted to let you know you should also be playing your beat in the background while you are creating the actual video while you're picking the preset that you want to pick because different presets will give you different options when it comes to what happens when your beats drums hit so it's good to have those beats playing in the background so for when the transients are hitting you can see what effects would actually be happening with that preset as well as you can get the vibe of your your beat in the background and you can pick the right preset that kind of goes with that so i've just wanted to add that in here to make sure you understand that you pick your preset and well you first you click wizard then you pick your preset then you can change the names of everything and then you can change you know a few of the elements and then bob's your uncle you're done you've got your video ready to go you export it and you've got a video on youtube after you upload that so very very easy very very simple i hope this video helps you out this is in the i think it came out in the 20.7 update for fl studio 20 so if you haven't yet updated to 20.7 it's probably i think it's 20 point something else at this point but if you haven't updated your fl studio then that may be the reason why you haven't found this if you're going through it and you try to open z game editor and it doesn't have all these presets and that sort of stuff then you need to update fl studio i do have a video on my channel that shows you exactly how to do that and how to go through those steps so just search my channel for how to update fl studio and watch that video and it'll show you exactly what you need to know now my question of the day is have you used z game visual editor before how do you like it or do you use something else to edit your beat videos let me know in the comment section down below i think that'll be very very interesting personally i used to just use camtasia which z game visual visualizer or z game editor whatever you want to call it is a better option for making beat visualizers just because they got so many different options and it's such a cool feature to be honest and very very easy and simple to use so i would definitely suggest just using this since it's built into fl studio there's no reason why you wouldn't really so 
that's that now if you want to get your beat half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage and you want to speed up that process and have your beat sounding professional i highly suggest you check out my r&b trap mixing template just a reminder my r&b trap beat mixing template can also be used for trap beats okay it's not just for r&b trap beats or what have you so if you're gonna get my r&b trap mixing template get the r&b trap mixing one not the trap one because the r&b trap mixing one is like an updated version of the trap beat mixing template i hope that makes sense link will be in the description down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash rnb trap fl when you use this template your beats are going to be half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage you're going to save a bunch of time and your beats are just going to sound better so grab that asap okay now if you've got any questions or any other videos you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. I'm always happy to answer your questions and make videos that come from your suggestions. So please do so. And in the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business and online marketing. Peace out.